doesn't have to worry about him anymore. Brooke is in a position right now to set down new rules. Right, and that is exactly what I intend to do. Good, dear, but don't do it by running away. I am not. Look, I just want to start a new life. I want to put all the problems in the past. Oh, darling, they'll still be on the same train with you. You'll never get rid of your problems by running away from them. Aunt Phoebe, just let up on it, all right? Really? All right. All right, sweetheart. I will. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. But it's upsetting to me. D just promise me. Promise me, dear, that you will think through very carefully everything I've said to you before you make a final decision. Hold it, sugar! Spring, what do you say? No, he's no spring chicken, Billy. You could kill him. Why not? He damn near got me busted again, yeah, running off like that. Yeah. But you were smart <sighs> enough to haul him off without getting caught. So, <sighs> so, so don't, don't blow it now, baby, please. please. He's bad news. I just as soon get rid of him. Shh. Are you kidding? He is our best chance of getting out of the country, honey. <sighs> Well, let me kick his teeth in. He's making a jackass out of me oh, like come that. Come on, come on, come on. We need him. He's got to make that telephone call to convince his wife he ain't dead. How is he going to convince her when she won't come to the phone? That's because... She has all her damn servants hanging up on me. I know, but that's because they all think that they that he's dead. But all that's going to change now. Uh, says who? Says me. Now, don't forget, we still have that photograph we took of him before he ran off. Oh, I clear forgot that. <laughs> now, I don't want to hear you whining. <laughs> it's your own damn fault for trying to get out of here. No, no, it's our fault too, Billy. From now on, we've got to be much more careful. We've got to be much more careful now that we're headed for the home stretch. Hmm. You, really, you really think this is going to work? I sure do. At the end of this week, we are going to be on a private jet with a suitcase full of money. <laughs> Baby, you know, you really cheer me up. <laughs> I ain't never gonna let you down, Billy Clyde. I know that, I know that. <sighs> I'd be rotten in prison right now if it hadn't been for you. Mm -hmm. Now, come on, Billy. Come on, we can't mess around. We gotta get in gear. Oh, that's right. I'm, I'm gonna need a disguise. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll dress up like a woman, huh? What are you Some... talking about? I'm talking about getting that photograph over there. Now, Erica's got a, a bad boy working her front door, and I can't let him recognize me. We are not taking the chance of you going over there again. Well, what are we going to do about the photograph? We can't mail it. It'll take all day, I forever. I'm going to deliver it myself. Now, you write me a ransom note. You can make it short, because the picture says everything. Something like, here's proof we got your husband. Pay up or he dies. Yeah, and then say, we'll be calling. Mm. Who is it? I'm Valley Police, Officer Hill. Just a second, officer. I have to put something on. I'm not decent. Okay, ma'am. <laughs> you really have to, have to. Oh, I'm sorry. I was racing to the bedroom to put my robe on and my lamp fell down. I'll be right with you. All right, all right. All right. I was just lying down getting my beauty rest. All right, I'm putting on my scuffs right now. Here I come. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry to disturb you, man. Yes. There's a, a sign outside there that says you're the manager of this trailer park. Yes, what can I, what can I do for you? Well, I got a search and arrest warrant here for, uh, what is that, uh, McIntyre. Roland McIntyre and his wife, Camille. The McIntyres! What have they been up to? Well, ma'am, uh, <gasps> passing bad checks on Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Isn't that awful? Yeah. Well, and you would like me to show you where they live? What trailer they live in, huh? Well, uh, actually, I was already over there knocking on the door. There was no answer. Oh, my I, I was that wondering, uh, maybe you might have a key? Of course I have the no. key. I'm the manager of this yeah. park. Let right. me get That's it for you. I'll take you right over there. Okay. Come on, dear. I'll take you right over there. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Come on, thank you. Right. 
But wait, there's more. There's more? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that, Get it money? Open. I'll help you. There we go. <laughs> this must be worthwhile. What is this? A history of our relationship so far. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember these pictures. These were taken after we had this terrible, terrible fight. I'm kidding, we were always fighting. Well, you were so pig-headed. Well, you were bloody impossible. Let's face it. But I got you straight. Finally. <laughs> All right, here we are when your book was first published. It's your book, too. You know, you're the one who made it happen. You... You're such a good writer. You really are. You're so honest and witty. Yeah, I think our uh, marriage stands a chance, don't you? I'm not joking. Neither am I. I think we got it made, Erica. Yeah. Okay, there's plenty more in the kitchen, guys. We gotta go. Well, wait a minute. You're the one we came to see. Yeah, uh, Angie, uh, Bob and I are here to uh, petition your help. What's the problem? Organic chemistry. We're flunking. No, no, I, I'm not. You're close to flunking. I'm not really close to flunking. I'm out. Oh, okay. I mean, even I had a little trouble with that. But everybody <laughs> knows that Angie got straight A's last year. Well, I, you know, always had sort of a feeling for chemistry. Well, I hope you'll also have a feeling for your, your friends. There's about six of us. Um, Joe Baker, uh, uh, Stu, Stu, Roger. Uh, you, uh, Bob, uh, me. And no, I, uh, t t Terry Sykes. Uh, we're ready to bow at your feet, uh, Angie. Yeah, well, well, what do you want me to do? Uh, lead us in a study group? I mean, we could really use the extra guidance. Angie, we just need a few hours each week, that's all. Guys, look, that's gonna be a little difficult to schedule. Well, we'll, we'll leave it up to you. We'll, we'll, whatever time you can give us. Come on, Angie, please, we're really in a bind here. <sighs> Uh, all right, all right, all right. I'll try to work yeah, something out. Yeah, yeah. But look, it, it's going to have to maybe be early, or maybe even late, right. like, like after nine at night. Uh, whatever's convenient. Uh, okay. Angie, 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 um, listen, I can't let you do this. Well, Jesse, look, if they need my help, I'd like to help uh, them. It's true, I and mean, both of these characters need help, I know, but not from you, baby. You can't, you don't have time to breathe right now with everything you're doing. Well, I think that I can manage if they're willing to settle for off hours. You don't, you don't understand. I don't want anybody putting any more of a load on your shoulders than there already is. You oh, know the what I'm timer. I'll, I'll be right back. Look, fellas, now, nah, you're going to have to find someone else, huh? Well, maybe we were asking for too much. But how about one hour a week? No, oh, come on. Come on, I'm serious. If you knew how much the lady was doing right now, you would be ashamed to ask for another minute. Tell That's me. right. That's right, fellas. You're forgetting. They're married. You have no idea how long, how much, you know, trouble it is to... To run a house and take care of a child and be a daddy and... On top of that, the girl's a full-time student. Come on, give her a break. I am really excited about this decision you've made. Well, I'm surprised. Uh, I didn't expect you to back me up so strongly, but it helped with her. Well, I was here. <laughs> well... Now, come on, you didn't really think your aunt was going to steamroll you, did you? She is quite capable of doing that, no. No, but I, you know, I understand how she feels. I know she's, you know, she's disappointed that the baby and I aren't coming back. Well, just don't let her get to you. Right now, what you have to think about is what's best for you and Laura. No, I know, I know. I mean, you know, part of me, I, uh, part of me would like to, to raise her in Pine Valley. Yeah, but I think this idea about new beginnings, oh, it's really important. Well, you think King's Cross is a nice town, don't I you? I do. In fact... I think I'll move here myself. <laughs>